Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 17th through the 23rd. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I kind of feel like there is a new opportunity um, in your life right now. Maybe for some of you, this could be work-related. I feel like you're contemplating accepting this offer or this opportunity because I feel like part of you wants to maybe try something new, maybe something that is outside of your comfort zone. But I also feel like you're looking at all of your options and not necessarily wanting to just pick the first thing that comes up. Um, I kind of feel like you're giving yourself the, you know, the power of, of choice and I feel like the universe wants to encourage you to really look at all of your options before making a decision because I kind of feel like there could be one that shows up when you least expect it that could really be exactly what you're looking for. I feel like with that strength card, some of you may have to um, kind of accept or be okay with the idea of stepping into something that is outside of your comfort zone, but I definitely feel like it will be worth the effort. Um, we have the Queen of Swords here, so I also feel like this could be about maybe you connecting to an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or this is you kind of just being very firm. Um, I also feel like some of you have, you know, a set of expectations that you're looking for when it comes to, you know, maybe a person or a job. So I feel like the universe is saying, you know, it's, it's good to have those expectations, it's good to have standards, and maybe for some of you, you're going to find something soon that meets them, so it's not like it's not realistic, because I feel like some of you may feel like maybe, um, especially if it's taken a long time for this opportunity or this person to show up, some of you may even be thinking, well, what if my expectations are too high? I feel like the universe is saying, nope, they are not. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy. Yeah, I feel like right now you're manifesting from a genuine place. I feel like you're looking at your options. You're trying to determine what it is that you think is going to work best for you. We have the Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like some of you could be connecting maybe to a person. Maybe this is relationship related where it could be someone that you are familiar with. Maybe the Six of Cups could also represent your inner child. Um, I feel like with the Knight of Cups, some of you are very open to something but there is this seven of wands which i feel like you're some of you feel like if you choose something that is familiar you're going to regret it because it's not going to be an experience or a person or something that will challenge you because i feel like deep down inside capricorn you want a challenge that's why you are manifesting different options different possibilities different offers different scenarios some of you do not want to be in a familiar place um, or environment because what you're looking for is growth so but i definitely feel like some of you could be getting an offer from somewhere that you may you know know what to expect all right let's clarify the strength card All right, we have the world. Yeah, for some of you, it could feel, or it could be that you may be um, asked to travel or move for a job, position, a person, right? Kind of feels like that's what's outside of your comfort zone is the moving part or the traveling or, you know, whatever change that you need to make in your life in order to make the most out of this opportunity. I feel like that's what you're really considering. You may be asking yourself, can I really do this, right? Am I really ready for such a big change? Uh, but to further clarify the strength, we also have the sun, which is also Leo. So some of you could have the Leo placements, the ace of swords and the five of pentacles. I feel like with the Ace of Sword and the Sun, there's something that's becoming very clear to you about what actually makes you happy. And I feel like this Five of Pentacles could represent the feeling of um, maybe not having enough or feeling like you have to leave something behind in order to do what really makes you happy. But I feel like with that Ace of Swords, you're not feeling so, um, you're not feeling guilty about it. Maybe in the past, you've had a similar situation where you you had the opportunity to make this kind of move, to make this kind of change, but you said, well, I can't do that even if I, even though it really makes me happy, just the thought of it, I don't want to leave someone behind. I feel like you're getting more comfortable with that, right? Like you're really honoring that this is your life and 
maybe some of you are actually ready to go in a new direction. Right behind the world card is the Three of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, right? So it kind of feels like there's an expansion. There's an opportunity to really go across, you know, some sort of border, right? Not necessarily a border in terms of geography, but maybe whatever border that you've had to live within, right, in order to appease or make someone else happy. I feel like you're ready to cross that and really spread your wings, right, just like this butterfly is right here. And with that Three of Pentacles, this could be confirmation that this is work-related. This is something that can really help you establish, you know, stability, financial abundance, maybe your dream life, right? I feel like you're just becoming more comfortable with the thought of that. Um, let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Two of Pentacles. I definitely feel like you're making a huge... I feel like everyone that I've read for so far today has... The reading has been about making a decision. So I definitely feel like be, maybe because the full moon um, or new moon, I'm not sure now, um, on the 21st is, is going to be a thing. Maybe we're all kind of collectively realizing that we need to make specific decisions. Um, all right, we have the Two of uh, Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords to further clarify that Queen of Swords, which is huge because the Six of Swords is about moving forward, not looking back, leaving things behind, moving to new territories, experiencing new things. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is you saying, I deserve this, so I'm going to give it to myself, right? I have earned it. I have earned it. It is mine. Ten of Pentacles, that is your happiness, your abundance, your financial stability, the opportunities. This is your life changing right before you and this is you letting it happen. So wow, really love this for you Capricorn. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.